What's up everybody, Brian from WrestleMap here with another video for you guys. Today we're going to talk about professional wrestling in Nepal. We're going to cover the history, the present day, and some of the country's top wrestlers. One of the coolest things about working on WrestleMap is coming across pro wrestling scenes that otherwise I would have never learned about. One of those wrestling scenes is the pro wrestling circuit currently active in Nepal. Without researching, I don't believe that I ever would have come across pro wrestling in Nepal, but now the product coming out of the country is one that I cannot get enough of. Today, we'll look at a brief history of how pro wrestling started in Nepal, examine the very dedicated fan base active in the country, and go on a tour of pro wrestling in Nepal today, where we will introduce some of the country's wrestlers and promotions. The start of pro wrestling in Nepal. So it's hard to pinpoint exactly when the first pro wrestling card in Nepal took place. There just isn't a whole lot of information about this stuff out there. Um, so through a lot of research and conversations with some wrestling historians and authors, I've been able to create a little bit of a timeline surrounding what I believe to be the first pro wrestling events and events involving pro wrestlers that took place in Nepal. One of the first mentions I saw regarding pro wrestling in Nepal came from a piece written by wrestling historian Stephen Verrier for Slam Wrestling on the career of Canadian wrestler George Gordienko. In the article, Verrier mentions that Gordienko's career took him to Nepal. I reached out to Stephen for more detail regarding Gordienko's trips to Nepal, and he shared with me that the only record he had was from 1961 and came from an excerpt in Billy Robinson's biography. Apparently, George Gordienko, Billy Robinson, most likely the legendary Dara Singh of India, and others came to Nepal following a lengthy tour of India at the request of Nepal's ruler at the time, King Mahendra, and held a private match card. It's unknown whether or not the wrestlers performed for the public or were present in front of the public at all during this trip. However, a year later in 1962, I'm fairly confident in sharing that fans in Kathmandu were treated to a live wrestling card at the historic Tundikel. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Uh, while I haven't been able to confirm an exact date, one Dara Singh researcher that I spoke to believed that it would not have been in April or May of that year since a lengthy Indian tour was underway during those months. Dara Singh and his brother Randawa were in action at that event in 1962 in Nepal. Farid Azam shared in an article for WrestlingTitles.com that Akram Pelwan, a Pakistani wrestler and one of the legendary Bolu brothers, competed in Nepal in 1962 as well. Aki, as Akram was known, was reported to have wrestled and defeated Sardar Khan, who was billed as the champion of Kabul. I think it's safe to assume that this match took place on the same 1962 card, as there aren't many known pro wrestling events to have taken place in Nepal at this time. Unfortunately, we don't have a date, promotion name, or more complete results from this event. The belief from a Dara Singh researcher that I spoke to indicated that Dara would have been the promoter. But I think it's safe to say that the first public pro wrestling event in Nepal took place in 1962. Dara Singh and his troop of wrestlers would return to Kathmandu in 1976 as per a conversation I had with the first Nepali-born pro wrestler, Himalayan Tiger. However, I wasn't able to get any other details about the event besides the year and the fact that Himalayan Tiger was currently serving in the Nepali army at the time of that show. Later, the Nepal Bodybuilding Organization held a pro wrestling event at Dasharath Stadium in Kathmandu, which was tagged as being WWF WrestleMania for the first time in Nepal. And that was advertised as being held from April 6th to April 10th in 1992. I was able to have that date confirmed by European pro wrestling legend Franz Schumann, 
Wrestlers on the event included Tiger, Bim Singh, billed as the brother of Dara Singh, but I don't believe this was the aforementioned Randawa, as his wrestling career was believed to have ended in 1988. Randawa is the only known brother of Dara Singh, as far as any information I've been able to track down shows. Other talent on the show included Coolwant Singh, Kamala Shankar, who was billed as the Asia champion, and a handful of wrestlers based on WWF stars of the 1990s, including the new Hitman, who was played by Franz Schumann, Bushwhacker, Doink the Third, or maybe even Doink Three, and the hilarious Ultimate Warrior influenced Ultimate Chippendale, who was portrayed by Austrian wrestler Robert Fasser. That wraps up what I was able to find in terms of pro wrestling events held in Nepal before pro wrestling in the country became much more commonplace starting in the 2010s. The godfather of pro wrestling in Nepal today is Himalayan Tiger, the very first Nepali pro wrestler. He was trained in 1992 in Brooklyn, New York by WWE Hall of Famer Johnny Rods. From there, Himalayan Tiger has wrestled all around the world and first brought an international pro wrestling contest to Nepal in March of 2010. At that event, Tiger faced off with Big Vito, former WWE, ECW, and WCW superstar. The turnout was great at the event, reportedly around 5,000 fans attended, which is a reoccurring theme still taking place in Nepal today. What started off as a successful event soon turned chaotic after the fans in attendance began to riot after Big Vito gained the upper hand against Himalayan Tiger in the ring. The Nepali army was forced to come in to take control of the situation and several people were injured. However, that would only be the start of things for the pro wrestling scene in Nepal, as things have skyrocketed since this first event. So let's take a look now at pro wrestling in Nepal today. There's a lot to talk about in today's pro wrestling scene in Nepal. We'll discuss the fans, the active companies, top wrestlers from each company, and their relationships and the climate between the wrestling companies active in Nepal today. The current fan base in Nepal. So the fan base in Nepal right now is a pretty rabid one. Most events draw huge crowds, and by huge, I mean in the thousands. Regardless of where the event is, fans turn out in scores. For example, Nepal Ring Wrestling Association, who we'll get a little bit more into later, are known to hold events in rural locations in the country's mountainside. These events will draw up to 5,000 plus fans, and at times, events take place in locations that are not easily accessible, and fans will travel for miles on foot just to take in the show. One of my favorite visuals from Nepali Pro Wrestling has been seeing fans gathered on a nearby mountainside to catch the action, particularly at the NRWA's Nepali New Year event in 2021. Remember that riot we talked about during the Big Vito and Himalayan Tiger match? Well, that's not necessarily a thing of the past. At a recent UWE, or Ultimate Wrestling Entertainment show, Thagu of Nepal was taking on an opponent from India. During a false finish, the referee temporarily gave the victory to the wrestler from India, despite Thagu's foot being on the rope during the pinfall. The fans on hand were not happy, and as a result, we saw a scene similar to that of the incident between Mick Foley and Terry Funk in ECW, where fans threw chairs near and into the ring. When it comes to international contests, there's no doubt that the Nepali fans want to see their hometown hero come out on top. Interpromotional Relationships Within the promotions currently active in Nepal, it's fair to say that the forbidden door is firmly closed and locked when it comes to some of the country's top promotions. For the majority, wrestlers are exclusive to their home promotion with very little overlap. The main overlap that does exist comes with the Himalayan Tiger Wrestling Association, Nepal Women's Wrestling Foundation, and Pro Wrestling Association, and we'll cover all three of those in more detail a little bit later on. 
Loyalty to your home promotion is important. Cross promotion, even from media outlets, is not welcome. And sometimes, crossing over to another promotion, even just for one night, can cost a wrestler a position in their home promotion. Now let's take a look at the current wrestling promotions in Nepal today. <clears throat> Nepal Ring Wrestling Association. The NRWA, or sometimes just called Ring Wrestling, was founded in 2015. Their first international event was inaugurated by Nepal's Prime Minister at the time, K.P. Sharma Oli. It is the only promotion in Nepal recognized by the Nepal National Sports Council. This gives the company benefits with venue selection and fan and government recognition. The NRWA always draws huge crowds, and it's not uncommon for thousands of fans to be on hand for a ring wrestling event. The NRWA has a stable of strong wrestlers, and their cards will often feature different match types and weight divisions. Their heavyweight stars include Nuakote Tiger, Chitan, and King Robert. The middleweight division features David and Shine. The lightweight division features X Hero. CJ World, Sujal, and Baka. The tag team division features the top teams of the Spider-Men and Tupi Gang, and the women's division features Tanu and Akriti. The NRWA has the highest production value and often broadcasts their events via live stream over the internet, as long as there is internet capability in the area they're holding their event. They've also established connections with international promotions such as China's Middle Kingdom Wrestling and Malaysia's APAC Wrestling and have worked closely with Japan's Pro Wrestling Zero One. The NRWA only has one title belt, the Heavyweight Championship, which is on the line when the champion competes in heavyweight bouts only. Winners of matches in the other divisions and weight classes are rewarded with handsome cash prizes with each victory. The current heavyweight champion and belt holder in the NRWA is King Robert. Ultimate Wrestling Entertainment The UWE is the brainchild of Lady Dragon Muna Shrestha and was founded in 2019. The Tough as Nails Lady Dragon made her debut in 2017 and leads an organization that is known to be a touch more hardcore at times than some of the other Nepali promotions, although it's not uncommon to catch a hardcore match on most pro wrestling cards in the country. For example, the UWE has featured fire matches as of late that involve throwing your opponent through a flaming table in order to get the win, including on their recent April 7th, 2023 event at historic Durbar Square in Kathmandu. Lady Dragon is the face of the company and is usually featured in the main event, often taking on male wrestlers in intergender bouts and even taking part in dangerous and bloody hardcore matches, once reportedly having spent four days in the hospital after suffering a serious wound as the result of a shot from a fluorescent light tube in a match against an Indian opponent. In the men's division, national stars such as Thagu and the Yuv have competed with the UWE in the past, and big names in the men's division today include Baba Bui, The Warrior, Aging Gar, Soul Shady, Blade, Trigger, Joala, Shinate, and King Cobra. Winners at UWE events are awarded with cash prize winnings as well. The current women's champion of UWE is Lady Dragon, and Baba Bui is the current UWE men's champion. The Himalayan Tiger Wrestling Association. The original pro wrestling organization in Nepal. Himalayan Tiger Wrestling Association was formerly known as PWECAN, or Professional Wrestling Entertainment Championship Association. Wrestlers competing at the Himalayan Tiger organized events often include wrestlers that have been trained by Himalayan Tiger, but talent on the show aren't limited to Himalayan Tiger's trainees. Wrestlers that frequently compete on the Himalayan Tiger shows include Aging Gar, The Scorpion, 
Lizard King, the Yeti, Krishna Magar, the Combat King, Abhiraj Singh, Amit Dalal of India, and oftentimes Nepal Women's Wrestling Foundation talents such as Unika, Asmita Jarelli, and some of the other Nepali women making a name in the NWWF. The Yuv, formerly of NRWA and UWE and the founder of the PWA, which we'll touch on later, will also compete on the Himalayan Tiger cards, oftentimes in hardcore matches. All of these stars were recently in action for the Himalayan Tiger Wrestling Association on Saturday, April 8th, 2023 at Tudi in Kathmandu. Currently, the Yeti and Ajingar both carry title belts in Himalayan Tiger Wrestling Association. However, I haven't been able to fully establish what the title belts represent or when they were captured or if they're defended or if they were won in like a one-time tournament and they're still carried to this day, which you will see sometimes in Nepal or even in Africa. Up next is the Nepal Women's Wrestling Foundation. The Nepal Women's Wrestling Foundation was created by Bhagwati Kadka Unika, Nepal's first female pro wrestler. Unika made her debut in 2012 after being trained by the godfather of Nepali pro wrestling, Himalayan Tiger. The company holds regular events that feature international touring wrestlers competing in both the women's and men's division. J.C. Storm and Sadika have recently come over to Nepal to take on the top female talent in the NWWF. Unika and Asmita Jarelli are the top two female wrestlers in the company, with both having crossed over into Nepali mainstream entertainment via television, movies, music, and modeling. There's also a men's division in the company that has featured international wrestlers from the USA and Pakistan, like J.B. Cool, Talha Ali, Kovu Brandon, Jordan Hur, and Sher Khan. The men's division has a couple stars of their own, including the ultra-popular Nepali bro and current NWWF Nepal champion Krishna Magar. Unika currently carries the NWWF Women's Championship belt, but Asmita Jarelli can also be seen carrying a Nepal title and a second Women's Championship belt in her appearances. So I'm not totally sure who the top women's champion is in the NWWF, but I know that Unika and Asmita Jarelli both have a belt. Up next, the Pro Wrestling Association. Uh, this is the newest of the wrestling promotions in Nepal. The PWA made their debut in September 2022 and was founded as a joint effort by former NRWA wrestler The Youth and Rupak. They've held a few events so far and will use a lot of the same talent that can be featured in Himalayan Tiger Wrestling Association. Other wrestlers that are known to compete for PWA include Lizard King, Amit Dalal of India, Abhiraj Singh, Asmita Jarelli, and Simran of India. And that pretty much covers our overview of pro wrestling today in Nepal. I have heard some talk of some potential big stories that may come to light over the next little bit of time. If anything major does happen, we'll do our best to cover it here on WrestleMap.com. In the meantime, why don't you check out some pro wrestling in Nepal? It's definitely worth your time. A quick YouTube search of any of the promotions that we mentioned today should yield some results, and I think you'll enjoy it. If there's anything that I mentioned here today that you'd like us to cover more in depth, or you have any ideas of topics you'd like us to cover moving forward, or you have any questions about pro wrestling in Nepal, leave us a comment below, and we'll do our best to address it for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about a pro wrestling scene you hadn't checked out before. For more coverage of pro wrestling all around the world, and the pro wrestling world map where we're working to list all of the world's wrestling promotions, be sure to visit WrestleMap.com. Also, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe so that you can catch future similar videos.